ahead of what you're planning uh, to do and, and what you're planning to hold? Well, I think what it shows is how necessary these jobs are to make sure that we're getting those 2,000 jobs filled. Now, right now, the humanitarian crisis that they're facing at the border is horrendous for these officers, which is why you have seen some of the highest numbers of suicide rates in the last two and a half years. We need to get those positions filled, and I'm happy to be able to do my, my, my part in that. We've got over uh, 300 businesses that are going to be at our job fair. We've got over 10,000 job openings. 2,000 of them need to be filled immediately. Um, we have seen you know, a five-year-old just this past weekend come up to the border, um, and has, she's obviously been groomed. She was told that she, that she was looking for her, her mom. That's where she was being sent, even though her mom had already died. This is what we're seeing at the border as a direct result of the open border um, policies. When you go down to the border and you talk to Customs and Border Protection, they will tell you they are prevented from doing their jobs now, and it's leading to hardships. But we're going to do everything that we possibly can August 7th at the Urban Convention Center to make sure that we're getting people connected with opportunities and making sure that Customs and Border Protection have the number of jobs that they need um, to be able to do the job to protect our country. I applaud you because 